Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to not just an exciting episode, but the very first episode shot through my new fucking computer. Welcome to You've Already Peaked Gaming Podcast, featuring your host, Lokar the Man Beats, and also featuring me, Mr. $6,000 Computer four years ago, The Lobster Dust. What's up, buddy? What's up, man? We are a day behind and always a dollar short. Yup. You have a good day today? Nope. <laughs> sure <laughs> fucking didn't. No? No. No, it's... I'm, st I'm still feeling being at your place. And... It saying is. yes to hitting that 24-hour window for a... A thrombolytic at fucking five something a.m. No, 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 no. I I will tell you, I <laughs> that's it. I'm done this weekend. I'm not doing what we did this weekend again. I'm okay to drink. I'm okay to party. I am not okay to drink and party like that. I blame your wife. You can blame whoever you want. I was holding you and Sean's back hair because you guys got nothing on top of your head fucking while you guys are yamining in the toilet on yeah. two separate occasions. First off, that's the best decision I made that whole weekend. I know. I'm so bad. Was <laughs> forcing myself to puke. I woke up Sunday and I was like, oh, oh I'm going to Kurt Cobain right now. <laughs> <laughs> I was so I, miserable. I mean, I, I still feel miserable, but like I woke up and I was like, Wow. <laughs> this is probably the best I've felt waking up in this bed, which I, I know I've said it probably a thousand times. You have the most comfortable guest bed in the fucking world. <laughs> That's so nice. <laughs> but literally, I, I woke up. I was like, wow, I went out. And every time I go to your place, I grab a water bottle and like two ibuprofen and I just chug. And Cliff's first thing, he's like, oh, you puked. I was like, dude, that's the best decision I made, dude. <laughs> I would feel so much worse if I didn't just get that all in my system. And he's like, Oh, I didn't think about it like that. Sean's like, I puked too. And I was like, that a boy, Sean. That a fucking boy. <laughs> I came in. I came. So I put you to bed. Or you, you crashed out after you are done, right? Got you all cleaned up. Go to bed. After the, after the cupcake? Yeah, after the cupcake. After the cupcake. Dude, I had fucking zits. I still have like. <laughs> Dude, so, I don't know how you got it in your eye. It's on your head. And at some point, everybody's like, is that safe on the couch? I was like, it's probably fine. You just rolled over and went. <laughs> Like all over my couch. <laughs> oh, okay, we should probably get it off of. <laughs> then you're like, what is this? <laughs> like just rubbing on your shirt. Um I opened my shirt. You said that I opened it. It looked like Monica Lewinsky's dress. Like just <laughs> fucking the frosting and then like my shorts too. I was like, I'm just gonna bundle you up, went home, threw it in the sink, and just put a bunch of fucking laundry detergent, let it soak for a while. It was gross. Sean texts me. <laughs> and I get a text from Sean. He goes, I need your help. Okay. So I'm like, I'm shit housed. I'm like wandering around looking for Sean. I'm like, where is he? And I see the light on the bathroom. I'm like, that's the only place I haven't looked. So I open the door. Sean's like, you know, cause he came from work. So he's like in his dress pants on the ground on his knees with no shirt on. So just hairy ass chest, Sean with his arms out going, should I puke? Hell yeah. Should I puke? Should I, should I puke? And I'm like, what? Why are you asking? He's like, I think I should puke. Should I puke? Like, yeah, if you have to, that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. It was right there just waiting on your approval. <laughs> okay. All over the toilet. I'm like, clean your fucking mess up, Sean. Okay, I got it. I got it. <laughs> Mike comes in to say goodbye and he's like, it's all like puke in here. It's like, yeah. oh yeah. <laughs> good lord. I, okay. There was JMO. <sighs> fuck okay fine there's no so much jmo then there was bullet then there was tequila there was too it was it was the mixing of all of that i think that's what killed me had we just no no once again i blame your wife <laughs> because she looked at me 
while you were gone, we were like, if we're going to start playing with rock band, like, we got to have some shots in us. So I was like, that's the fucking best idea I've ever heard. So we, like, took a shot, sang a song, took another shot, played guitar, and then by, like, the third shot, you still weren't there. And she looked at me and she laughed. She's like, Haha, you're getting drunk with me and not Trevor tonight, and he'll never be able to catch up. And I was like, why would you say that? <laughs> She's like, what? And I was like, you know what I have to do. And he's like, he, he, it's impossible for him to catch up. I'm already, I'm like, no. And you got home and I told you, and what's the first thing you did? I just put two. You took like six shots in a row. <laughs> yeah, I was a th- you were all th- one, two, three, you're all, I'll be right back. You sang one song. <laughs> the shots aren't even in your system and you're already standing on that like wall <laughs> by the pit and you're like singing and like screaming. And then you came back, you took three more shots with me. Like, I went, I, I went from like a nice calm quiet relaxing massage to like walking in and will it and her just be like and i'm like oh what the fuck is happening right now like i have to play catch up because i can't deal with this yeah and then we proceeded to get obliterated yes okay backtrack fuck 2007 to 2009 is the greatest gaming years of our youth. Yeah. And I will put that down because of things like Guitar Hero and Rock Band that existed in that time period was fucking phenomenal. I had so much fun playing Rock Band. That was the best birthday I think I've ever had. (laughs) No exaggeration. I was just, it was so much fun. I had more fun playing Rock Band last weekend than I did the entire time Rock Band was out. I agree. I agree. I agree. And uh, uh, this, I was like, dude, I had Rock Band, but I never played it like this. And Mike's all, why? I was like, I guess I just didn't have friends to play it with. <laughs> and he's all, oh, <laughs> But like, not like that, but like, we just like, it was yeah. like, you you played like Halo 2 and stuff like that. It wasn't. It was also like. indulge in some drinking and shit like it that. It was a lot easier. You to have big groups. True. Yeah. And it was a lot easier to take a controller and a video game to somebody's house than what Aaron did, which was a, an entire... Fu- he showed up like a goddamn guitar, roadie. Guitar. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Rock band real life. Yeah. So where am I setting up? It was Will at one point in the night, just like, Brr, it's like we're starting a band. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was so much fucking fun. Ah, uh, yeah. And then I pass out. And <laughs> Cliff sends a video of me pass out in the chair to like Dragon Wars playing and Dota he was so proud of that. Dota open on my computer. He showed me three times the next morning. <laughs> so I was like, the first time, like I just wasn't even paying attention. I was like, yeah, cool, man. He's like, no, no, look at how I found Trevor. And I kept, I stopped watching once it turned away from me. I was like, yeah, he passed out in a chair. Cool. <laughs> and he's like, no, 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 look. And I was like, what? Do you have like a, a battle simulator? He's like, that's Dragon Wars. Got him so good. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay. Dragon Wars. Okay. And he's like, no, 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 but look. I was like, what is that? He's all, it's the fucking loading screen for Dota. Come on. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> you wasted like 70 gigs of my data. So you can download it for a meme. Like, all right. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, man. I instantly woke up, saw it on my computer, and uninstalled it. <laughs> so, last laugh. <laughs> oh. Speaking of wasting data, mm. guess who downloaded five terabytes of games? Mm. Outside of five terabytes of games, five and a half hours of that sex game you played. Nine and a half. Nine and a half. Sorry. You have put in some extra hours. Since I, I'm i dedicated. It, it started off as a joke. You put uh-huh. that in the fucking thing and I download it. And then I was like, <laughs> I'm going to play this and like watch some like, like animated tits bounce around. It's deep. <laughs> if, 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 if anything... It speaks to like the story development in this game because Bob <laughs> and Linda are getting a divorce and it's all my fucking fault. Sarah's about to get kicked out of college because she's turned into this little anal sex toy and she can't like <laughs> study for her tests anymore because she's too concerned on what I, my last blowjob was. Fucking what's her name? Yasmin and Liza. They all got weird names too. <laughs> like they were lesbians and they don't want no part with men and i snuck in and now their marriage is falling apart and they don't know what they want they all of a sudden are into like bdsm and choking each other one of them's gonna fucking die there's so much going on and i was like dude i gotta i gotta get to the end of this game and like it like 
wraps up and like people like get back to their lives and it just keeps getting worse my therapist is like the master of puppets behind all of this i just found out the more i play the worse it gets for these people it does say you want to <laughs> you want to like hope that you can get it back i'm it's it's literally made for people to like beat off during it which is impossible because I named my character Vin Diesel because I was hungover. <laughs> so everything is, oh yeah, Vin Diesel. That would be harder. It's made to just play by hitting spacebar to like go through and then choose actions with a mouse. I'm like blowing through the sex. Just... And then it gets to like dialogue. I'm like, how do I fix what I'm doing? I can't. I can't. I've gone too far. I like how this game was designed as a sex game and you're now invested in a story where like Baldur's Gate was about a story, but now you were invested about sex. Touche. <laughs> Touche. I do because I maybe I didn't take it seriously enough in Baldur's Gate. You know, I'm playing with these people's emotions. Now I feel that. I saw what Shadowheart had to go through while I got railed by a fucking bear. I am I'm really excited to know that when you see the reviews for sex games and everybody is giving it thumbs up and like great story this is an interesting game and stuff you're just like is that a meme is that a meme are you just doing that because it was a sex game but then you realize it well like for your personal experience is like it, it's something good it's this like it's a weird it's a weirdly in depth it's a lot more than i thought it was going to be <laughs> you know i don't know what i expected this, this is my first time playing one of these fucking games but like I was like, oh, oh, I'm wrapped up in it, dude. I'm caught up. <laughs> Fucking somebody play Usher because I got it bad. <laughs> I <laughs> I love that your Steam library was like, oh man, it's really lacking. We need to speed it up. And I'm sure this opened a door that you were not expecting to be open. Because if this is this good, imagine how some of the better ones are. I just posted one. There are much better games out there that have higher reviews I'm, I'm dumb done playing sex games i, I downloaded know. um hentai booby hunter or something whatever whatever else was thrown in the chat i think it's like hentai booby killer or some shit like mm -hmm. that obviously i'll give that a playthrough but <laughs> i'm done with the sex games you say that i feel like it's also gonna lead me into like like you play enough of it next thing you know like your girl's just on the couch and you're like open your mouth you know, <laughs> like, you know it's starting to like turn like your brain it's like this isn't how real life works just pressing space bar she's like what are you doing <laughs> yeah. how was your day ah <laughs> oh, too funny man too funny yeah you've got some good you get some good things in your catalog for Freaky Friday, though, you said, right? Yeah. Dude, when I when I was, like, scrolling through, trying to just, like, smash a bunch of stuff just for numbers, pad the stats, I got a lot of, a lot of, like, weird stuff. Mm -hmm. There's a, there's a few ones in there where I'm like, this could be good. Like, like, I don't expect anything great out of it, but it's Freaky Friday. We're here for the lull. Yeah. And, but there was also, like, I got, like, fucking, like, tomb raider from like 2016 or something like that for two dollars like there's a there's a bunch of stuff it's just like they're just old so they drop the price yeah lots of shit like that in there that's that's my favorite thing so like what i do my steam wish list is like probably 300 items like long and i what i do is i just look at games and i'm like oh those are interesting and my my whole thing is would i buy it at full price well, yeah, if I'll buy it at full price, then it'll go on a wish list and I'll just follow it or whatever. Or like if it was something indie or I was reading something about it, I'll put it on the wish list and just kind of follow it and see what the development looks like. But for the most part, it's like, okay, will you buy it at full price? If it's a $30 game, would you buy it at full price? And it's like, yeah, I probably would spend the 30 bucks on it. Then I'll put it on the wish list and I'll just wait for a sale and see what, what sales come around. And if it drops like 20% or 30%, I'm like, oh, I'll instantly snag it. And that's just yeah. how I've just like built the collection over time. And so like, but bargain bin hunting, like I, every time I open up steam, I'll just go to the $10 and under list and I'll just start scrolling and see what's at the top, like highest user reviews or whatever. And I'll just start scrolling and just sometimes you just find fucking gems. And sometimes you don't. Oof. I had to see what Russian life simulator was all about. And maybe like I just maybe I need multiplayer mm. because it says like create a lobby. But so far, all I've figured out how to do is I'm not even like a person. I'm just like it looks like a Russian version of Towley from South Park. And you just like you just click and be, oh, 
and it just goes one bottle of vodka and it just keeps giving you vodka for every time you click them i don't know what else to do in that thing like there's nothing else and the instructions when you click on it are all in russian so i don't know if i actually just like signed like my like rights away i don't know oh, yeah like things pop up and it's all click here and everything's in russia i don't know click it's all, eh, two more bottles of vodka i don't know i mean they've already got, you got a lot t- like that though i got a there's a weird amount of 49 cent russian games I yeah. got Putin versus ISIS. I got Drunk Russian Boxer 2. Yep. I got Russian Life Simulator. I got Shitty Streets of Russia. Is that what the hat's like, for? Oh, this is Tarkov. <laughs> Will got this for me for my birthday. Oh, did he? It's it's literally the, the scav bomb bomb. Oh. It's got like the reindeer. It's got the fucking the Russia. Yeah, I'm a fucking scav, dude. Oh. Yeah. That's how you know you've gone too far and you're buying merch from a video game gone too far is he had four different things that he was in between he's like i was gonna get you like a re- <laughs> replica lead x there was a there was actually a sick you know that black hat that scabs wear sometimes <laughs> yeah he was so pumped about your birthday he was so pumped like the whole like we have a whole other group chat and like the whole time he's just like so we're we doing something very bad what are we doing are we dressing up are we doing this calm down man calm down I know, he was i thought that this was for everybody's like collective birthday and it was it was yeah but he's like when you come down, what are you doing? You want to go like you want to go like hit a bar? Let's like, let's do like coin op and then let's like head back to fucking blah blah. And I was like, or we could just stay at Trevor's, or we could just. Uh, well, I'm too old to go out. Yeah, I was think, I was thinking about coin op. I was like, man, that would be so dope because I haven't been there since they renovated it. And then it was like, do we really want to fight downtown Sacramento at a brand new re renovated area? Yeah. On a Saturday, I'm like. Yeah. No, I don't. I do. I do. I do. But maybe, maybe not that close to fucking Halloween. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. Plus, on top of the way that we just drank at the house, it probably would have been better for us to go out though. Hell no, man. We we have what's called disposable income nowadays. Yeah, it's true. Those four hundred dollar bar maybe, tabs. Maybe so- a bartender wouldn't give us six shots in a row. <laughs> or Did- maybe they would. There's enough people there that we just split off and everybody order. But the set. fact that we have to sit there and organize to work against a bartender versus all of the alcohol is just right there and there's just shot glasses. <laughs> Could you imagine if like, we, well, remember how coin op is, is like there's a giant, the bars in the center. A horseshoe, yeah. We just take like two teams on opposite sides, say line up eight shots, and then we just rotate around the bar and then rotate. This is why my mom's afraid of me. <laughs> <together. laughs> I called her. She's the fact like, that we're already working a game plan for a hypothetical situation. I, I called her and I was like, Brad said you were scared. She's like, I just want to make sure you guys are safe. Like, we're safe, Nikki. Will you send me pictures? Of course. I just took a picture with your phone and sent it to your mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I had like a, like a surprisingly like sober moment. I remember you called her like, no this isn't it you called her i called her and then at the end of the night you're like oh should we call my mom i was like yeah and then you ran to the bedroom uh i don't remember that oh no no when you called her you opened my phone with your face yeah never before (laughs) has that been done you just look at it it's all bald okay and just unlocks bald with beard fine go hey, apple security what the fuck's going on i remember i was like hey, you're, let me call your mom I was like, okay let me unlock it and, you, and you're all good i was like whoa what whoa what oh man ah oh, what a wild night yeah yeah did we i completely forgot about the painting until i was already up here and somebody asked about the painting what happened to the painting sitting in my kitchen how completed is it? About How bad is it? How many penises are on it? Not a single penis. And it's mm. probably, I'd say, 40% complete. Ugh. So I remember just sent it in there, like filling in the things. Yeah. And I was trying to help, but I was like, <laughs> like going outside of the lines. I was like, fuck it. I'm like two handing a paintbrush. <laughs> um, I got, so like we got uh, most of all the wall, there's like one side, like the top left hand corner is like not done most of aaron is filled in but not like detailed i got his fresh kicks in <laughs> i do remember the fresh, those kids have some fresh ass nikes 
<laughs> um we like added like we detailed like the the tub we put some blood in there we did a little bit of blood for uh the guy on the ground and then that was about it let's see hold on let me see if i can. we'll pause here we'll be right back uh no that's that's more than i remembered So it looks like round two is coming. Huh? It looks like round two is coming. Yeah, but we're doing it after church or before church. Yeah. We're doing it in the middle, <laughs> the middle, middle of the week. day. Yeah. On a, yeah. On a work night. So that way nobody <laughs> fucking drinks. <laughs> oh. But uh, yeah, man, it was it was fun doing the painting. But I think by by the time the night started to progress, rock band and alcohol took over. And like every time I went back out, it was just getting like it was getting harder and harder to keep one eye open and still try and find the lines. And I was like, yeah, I'll be back. Yeah, the the painting was like a group of skirmishers from Somalia and rock band and alcohol were the Navy fucking seals. Yeah, yeah. Just occasionally you hear like some fucking pop shots that come off. You'd be like, oh, I'll go paint one line. (laughs) And then just the boom of the singing and the fucking God, I mean, I'd be out there like one eye and fucking double handing one paintbrush trying to paint and you'd hear fucking like Miss Murder come on and you'd, oh, <laughs> you just bolt like it just bolted. That was my favorite point is just standing in the living room and people being out painting a song would come on and like three people would bust through the door. It was like Roger Rabbit, like four thousand people. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like <laughs> boom, like come through the and it just starts singing the song. It was like, ah, are you going to play? Like, <laughs> so much fucking fun. Man, I miss God, and I got back and I looked up like to buy rock band stuff. So expensive. Yeah, Aaron like is seven hundred and fifty bucks for it. Aaron set. is literally sitting on a gold mine. Yeah, oh. it's also one of those things. Like, it's pretty ah, man. Ah, there is, like I said, two thousand seven to like two thousand nine time period for gaming was amazing, and like that time period for what is rock band was like the one of the better maybe not the best but the a better party game than 90 oh, yeah. percent of the shit that we have at all like yeah mario party's fun granted you know mario kart not like you know, this but though. that was just something fucking about it man we're up we're jumping around fucking oh. dude my fucking throat i had never is laughed. just now getting to the point where it doesn't hurt yeah. from the fucking kill. Yeah. 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 Something about alcohol is just like, you can do this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, oh, push harder. I feel like ah, the throat just tearing. I just fucking started playing guitar and bass on Expert and all <laughs> night. And I was just going at it. I was having so much fun. Like, just like trying to relive the glory days of Guitar Hero 3. Pissed, because I switched to like hard and expert at one point, and I was like, "Nope, you have to go to medium." But then, like, there's a part you're like, "Fucking no, I don't." You're like, "Try, <laughs> come on." <laughs> I have done this. I hadn't laughed so hard in at, like at a game like that in forever. Oh, oh man, it was a blast. And then you know what the worst part it was? Well, I mean, the worst part was the hangover. Was the yeah. it was it was the literal two day hangover. Like I felt like shit all Sunday, and then I went to work on Monday. I was like, I think I could still die. Even yesterday, <laughs> <laughs> even yesterday, I was like, <laughs> I was sitting here waiting for for uh, for the podcast, and like I didn't hear from you. So I was like, Hey, are we shooting for nine? Didn't hear from you. Sent you something? Didn't hear from you. And that by nine twenty, it was like, are you still alive? nothing i was like all right you're probably out i since saturday i have not been able to play a video game when i tell you i was asleep and dead by 7 45 last night i mean chevy commercial like a rock yeah i think the only thing i've been able to play was milfy city yeah, I, I'm the, just, the fact that I've been logging on to Steam and I'm like, I don't know what to play. And I'm seeing you play that. I'm like, should I give it a shot? <laughs> I, have to, I have to see this to the end. Don't. Well, actually, you might you might enjoy all the turmoil you bring in people's lives. Mm-hmm. I feel guilty. Mm-hmm. I cannot overstate that enough. Oh, man. 
it's real life simulator for me. <laughs> <laughs> Throw my dick around and fuck this shit up. <laughs> well, on the subject of Rock Band and all that, okay, they were teasing that Activision, now that they have all this IP, thinking about bringing it back. Yeah. And when I tell you, I will pay an ungodly amount of money for track lists, for skin, for every... That's how you get every dime I have. Well, here's here's the thing that, that blows my mind that we, we haven't seen yet that I know exists is that people have Guitar Hero in some way on PC and then people mod songs. And then you could just download modded songs and play modded songs like through the computer or whatever. So it's like a whole mm. hookup system. But because of something like that, that changes the whole game. Because that was the thing with Beat Saber. Beat Saber for the VR, you know, on the PC, you can download all these modded songs and you can play any song you want as long as someone's been able to, you know, generate a, a music track for it or whatever. So... Mm -hmm. I think if Rock Band ever came to a point where we could play on computer, I'm sure we could probably find it now, but it's the whole setup or whatever. That would be amazing. Because I don't remember what company did it, but there was a, a game that came out called Guitar Smith. Do you remember this? And it was... Was it a game or was it like a trainer that tried to train you to play it, it both. with a game? It was both. Yeah, I remember that. And it was an actual, like guitar but you played it in the same way it just had like the section of strings yeah and so you like where like your main chords are yeah and then it played it in the same way that it was like rock band or whatever and i remember that was the transition because we went from we went from like guitar hero guitar hero one was rough by the time guitar hero three came out it was like dude you guys are figuring it out this yeah this is amazing and i think that's what i was i was realizing about rock band is that the guitar has the frets and like what are your notes flush with the rest of the neck where Guitar Hero's buttons are raised a little bit. So you always yeah. knew where your fingers were at. But for like yeah. Rock Band, I was, was, I was me losing up. it. I was like, we'd go and I'd be like, I'd be off and I couldn't get back on. And I'd just be missing a whole section of song. Look down. Like, yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> blue, 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 blue. <laughs> yeah, because but then you look down and you look up and you're on a whole nother note section. It's like, I'm fucking. Yep. But, uh, It'd be interesting to see if if you were to bring that IP back and introduce it back into the world in some way, would you go the route of that Rocksmith game where you try and make it more realistic? Or would you go back to the original plastic fucking button guitars, five notes, and just go it that way? What what would you because I feel like the Rocksmith may have killed the that music party game gameplay. So after that, I don't think there was another rock band. I don't I think, think there the was... raise button still reigns supreme. Dude, it's so good. In my opinion. It's so good. There, there is something a guitar hero guitar doesn't do, you know, that the rock band guitars do. It just felt easier to play. Yeah. It's like Dance Dance Revolution, but not on a pad, and you have to guess where fucking the things are to yeah. hit. God, do you remember? <laughs> now that we're just talking about us basically starting a band um did we <laughs> did we play boy band boy. four ddr pads DDR, side by side ddr pads and the rock band mics and we just sing oh. <laughs> but the the, the the old school in sync ones yeah <laughs> <laughs> um do you remember dj hero yes dude if i ever told you the story how i'm pretty sure they stole that from me no but i'm so interested this is gonna sound, this is gonna sound really far-fetched okay, okay xbox original xbox days okay my like my email was like teen freak something at hotmail.com it was like my first email cool and there was i don't know if i filled something out but i literally got a phone call from somebody who was talking about video games and what i liked about xbox and shit like that i remember at my mom's house and I said, I think it would be cool if there was a game where you could mix music tracks back and forth, like if you were having a house party. And I remember the girl being like, oh, 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 teen freak, that's a cool email, ha, ha, ha. And then like 10 years go by, and then DJ Hero comes out. 
Like, I, this is not like tin foil. This is a fucking real thing. I swear to God. I I want to believe. Not that I don't want to not believe you. I I believe you. I believe that that actually happened. But I also want to believe that you were the only person with that idea, and there wasn't like, you know, maybe ten other people. Oh, that I'm, had. I'm, sh I'm sure, but you should have the weirdest it. coincidence that it should have had. Should have had it. DJ Hero. I mean, my, how I was envisioning it was nothing like how DJ Hero came out. But it's just like weird that like the building blocks of like what I said fit so nichely into there. See. I think your idea is better though. Instead of like predetermined tracks that they already had mixed together and then worked the controller around, it would be way doper if you could just pick two songs. Yeah, that's what I was picturing. Like you could like just, load a playlist yeah. in or something like that, like burn one CD to a hard drive and stuff like that and be able to like use your sound system and stuff as like a mixer thing and you just had like a controller for it. My favorite point is in 10 years that comes out and we find out that that girl that has been actually following you is watching the podcast. <laughs> Make sure you like and subscribe, lady. <laughs> Share with a friend. <laughs> But seriously, that would be sick. That that idea right there. Two songs in, already have predetermined lines, and you can just swap wherever you want and just yeah. mix it out. And it'd be dope if you could record it too. And then like, so you could re record your own your like mixes on that. That would be fucking sick. There is there's a, a lost art for old school DJ turntable. Actual DJing and fucking getting your transitions yep. and knowing your tempos and shit like that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, in a world of fucking YouTube playlist DJ sets where you hit play. What was that? Uh, what was that song that came out a while? But everybody's, uh, what was it? Everybody's a DJ with a MacBook Pro. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking true, though. It is. It is. Remember oh, when? Remember yeah. when Seth used to spin? Bro. Just the dopest nights ever. Vans and fucking <laughs> numb. Yes. Fuck it. Just waking him up at 3 a.m. Play us some songs. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Do the do the vans and the Lincoln Park remix again. Come on. Do it. <laughs> that was before he's DJ Sefer, man. Yeah, yeah. Way back in the way day. Way back in the day. Before he got all fucking Hollywood yeah, on. Us. Jesus Christ. Big name <laughs> out there playing fucking shows nowadays. Yeah. Motherfucker. Remember Seth being at my house, like, this is called drum and bass. He's like, I love drum and bass. And then all night we're just like <laughs> <laughs> just a bunch of people just standing around a turntable. <laughs> yeah, fucking do it. Man, those are some wild nights. Remember the night Cody fucking whacked his head on the ground? Oh, fight club night. <laughs> yeah. Fucking fight club on right, fight club on like <laughs> tile. the tile on cement floor. Oh god. And push away like anything soft. <laughs> this goes back to last week's conversation. I'm surprised we're still alive. I right, know. God, that was that was a fucking night. We're getting old, man. I'm getting very old. I had a conversation with Chris last night because, okay, do you remember at some point in the night someone brought up the new expansion for WoW? Yeah. No, I remember. I remember. I didn't. I didn't at first. I ran out. You were smoking a cigarette. I ran out. And I was like, Trevor. And like they were talking about, I was like, are you talking about the new WoW expansion? <laughs> and you're like, yeah. And I was like, Trevor, is this their sign? Is this the MMO? <laughs> And you grab me by my face, like holding me by my beard. And you're like, do you have four hours every Tuesday? Can you promise me six <laughs> nights a week, at least one hour a night for this, Brad? Because that's the level of commitment. And I was like, nope. <laughs> nope. You got me. And I got home and I started like downloading games. I got through Steam and I was like, oh, battle. And then I got to go through that. And I saw WoW. And I started downloading WoW. I was like, oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the new one. The new. Oh, we're gonna. And then I remember their conversation. <laughs> no, I need you every Tuesday, and Thursday for three hours from nine to eleven. Yeah, that's what you said. <laughs> you're like, like, I can't nope. do that. I'm out. <laughs> Sean was like, I can maybe do every other. I was like, Nope. If, <laughs> yeah. if you're not making every one, we're not doing it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a good position to hold. Too. I think it's a great. You know position. what it takes. I know what it takes. I couldn't. I couldn't. I don't think I could get into it and just be casual about it. I think that's my problem. I know I mean, clearly. 
I know. It's like instantly I was like, James is like, come on, we'd have so much fun. You're right. We would have a lot of fun. I know we would have fun. I also know that it would be the only thing I would do. This channel would no longer exist. Yeah. Yeah. God. We would just become a WoW channel. I'd just make WoW content. <laughs> we could be the next Asmin Gold. I'll grow my hair out. <laughs> what sword? <laughs> so stupid i was talking to chris about it last night he called me and uh we watched the trailer together and he was like it's so f it's such a fucking good trailer and then we were just talking it is. it's it is. such a good trailer like and Even i from not a wild person it is i've said it before and i'm like now i'm just like convinced is that what you said that they should go into yeah stop making movies? video games just make movies and i'm <laughs> totally fine i will give blizzard every dollar again in my life just stop making fucking video games because you don't know how to do it anymore. But your cinematic team, those guys, I feel like every time they're like, oh, we need a new cinematic. And like there's a guy that like climbs the top of a mountain with like it's a cold. He's he's wrapped up. There's a torch and he gets to the top and there's this Just monastery. Just got done filming with James Cameron. <laughs> so monastery and you open the door and it's like, and like we need another one. And then some old man comes out. And he's like, all right. And cinematic team just gets at it and they just fucking <laughs> knock it out. man. it's like, oh, this is the sign. It drops. They start the game development. Back from whence you came. <laughs> a wind comes in. They turn to ash and just blow away. <laughs> oh, there goes all the good ideas. Yeah. <laughs> just fucking God. Oh, my Lord. But it, it was. Uh -huh. it's such a cool trailer. It's, it's simple. There's nothing really going on. If you know the story, there's a lot more of what's happening there because of the story. That whole thing with Ian's shirt, it's like, what sword? You know, because it's this giant joke for two expansions where you're like, oh, but don't know what happened to the sword itself is. And then, <laughs> so there it is. You know, there it is in the trailer. So it's like, okay, it's back. We're back in, we're back on Azeroth. We're back dealing with things that are here. The main story is kind of like coming back together again. And it's feeling good to like want to invest time in that because I really do love the wow story well ooh, okay love aspects of it <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of cool things that are invested in it, and there's cool things that because this game is 20 something years old now at this point or t it will be 20 i think the 25th anniversary or something of blizzard is coming up for world of warcraft or, or not world of warcraft but the warcraft universe in general yeah. and the fact that the guy who literally wrote the entire world sorry i was looking for something the guy who wrote the entire world is now back heading it and like planning a three-part expansion with like all of his lore and everything to back it i'm just like damn it dude like this is this is the wow that i want yeah i can't do it when you move past it <laughs> yeah when i'm done and over it, i've wiped my hands clean i fucking i put the needle down and i'm i'm clean i'm going to church every fucking week You've you've lost your fucking life, same as you're walking away from the blackjack table, and the guy's like, ah, "Fresh deck, <laughs> yeah." <laughs> Let's just swap dealers. In the shoot. I'll give yeah. it one more. Oh, look at her tits. I gotta win with her. And that's what I was saying. If I buy the the expansion right now, my 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 sub because I bought that year sub ends December sixteenth or something like that. I could buy the expansion right now, get a 70 boost, jump straight to the end game content. I can <laughs> skip all the leveling stuff. We can get a new expansion in. And all that sounds so fucking good because I know I've been looking for an MMO. I know I've been looking for that, that desired want of playing a Holy Trinity MMO with dungeons and raids and synergy and friend groups and all these different fucking things. And it seems so appealing every single time. It's just right there. It's just right there tickling you. Hey, Trevor. And then you grabbed it by his beard. You said, give me four <laughs> in the week. Minimum two hours plus raid times on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Easily. Easily. Oh, man. And that's a That's a dangerous slope because you will invest the time because you're paying for the sub. 
you bought the game, you have the content, it's there, and then they trap you in it the way the game is designed. You want your weekly bonuses, you got to hit your vaults, you got to go through and you got to do all of your shit. You got to hit 10 Mythic Plus. You want to get the best loot possible, you've got to push your Mythic Mythic Plus. You want the best stuff, you got to grind out and hit the best raids and kill the best bosses. You you want to get out of normal as fast as possible and get a heroic. Fuck, get through heroic, maybe move on to Mythic. Like the design is there to keep you playing and to want, make you want to play because it, and this is what me and Chris were talking about last night. It, it's not about showing up and just playing the game anymore. It's about doing all of the, the monotonous chores. So you can do the content. Oh, we're not able to kill this boss. It's because 10 people are, you know, 12 eye level under what should be recommended. Go and grind mythic plus and then come back and we'll hit raid. And it's like, fuck man, I just, I don't want to do that. I want to plug in, kill bosses, and go home. And if we could, if that's what the new WoW is, then yeah, maybe. But it won't work. We'll never, we'll never progress. Between you and Sean and your guys' work schedule, there's no way. Yeah, Cliff will be far past us because that'll be all <laughs> he does. He'll 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 just trade Dota for WoW. Yeah, that's all James does now. He's got like yeah. three guilds he plays with. I no, it's a bad idea. And yet, I'm pretty sure I'll probably play it. Oh, you never know though. Here's the thing. Here, okay. Here's also the next thing. It's owned by Microsoft now. Maybe it'll be on Game Pass. No, no, not a fucking chance. Not, maybe not right now. Maybe your first 20 levels will be on Game Pass. <laughs> They're never going to move away from the subscription. I don't know. If they start to adopt the idea of how Final Fantasy has their game, where it's like, we're going to give you every all the content for free up until you know X expansion or whatever, or up until current expansion for a while, and just let you level and play, and you actually get deeper than level 20, and you actually start to do some dungeoning and raids and stuff like that, I don't know, man. That itch is strong. Once you like, once you like, you're not just like, oh, I'm playing DPS on my hack and slash, and like you actually have to figure out your rotation and like what buttons to press in like succession with one another, and making sure that you're like optimizing your play and like things are burning, and you're watching your DPS meter and you're just fucking ripping. It is infectious. You're playing as tank and you can group mobs together and hold them to keep your, you know, your team alive. Or you're taking big damage and you're a healer just fucking making sure people aren't dropping. Healing tanks while DPS are dealing with mechanics and keeping heals out there while also moving out of mechanics yourself. Dude, there is something about it when you finally get those kills. You're like after grinding on a boss for like two hours and you're like, fuck man, this has been our wall. We've just not been able to push through. And that boss goes down. There have been nights when we were raiding that like I was peaked and I was just like, I I'm fucking throwing stuff. I'm yelling and screaming. You guys are fucking amazing people. There's 20 other people in discord fucking yelling and cheering as well. Bosses are dead. You're getting achievements. People are passing out loot. Oh my God. There's something about it that just, <clears throat> it hits on a level that is, there's no other gaming or genre of gaming that have the same, has that same fucking feel. Stop. <laughs> Stop this. Damn it. Listen, do we land on the moon? Yeah, we landed on the moon. We we have definitely been to the moon. We hundred percent have been to the moon. Have we? Have we? I mean, we have to. We have to believe that the moon is actually there. First off, the the moon's there. Okay, well then, if we believe the moon is there, then did we, we orbit the moon? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Did we land on the moon? Get back to our spacecraft and then safely land? Yeah, that's what I'm asking. Yes, but was the video that we saw during the space race against Russia actually the video that happened? Or was it just made in Hollywood and it was there to end the space race? See, what prompted me to ask you this earlier today. Okay. Because there's this comedian in, in London. And he's like, he's cracking jokes. And, and like this like British guy is like, like hey, blah, 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 fucking American. And he's like, listen, there's two types of countries in this world. There's the countries that use the metric system. And there's those that have been to the moon. And then he just, oh, 
when he just bounced out <laughs> all corners of the room. <laughs> and then, like, literally the next one was like, moon landing, was it real? And I was like, fuck it. I don't know, was it? I don't know. I don't know. You I don't know. I'm just, I'm watching SpaceX and how hard it is just for them to get something that goes into orbit and then comes down with today's technology. Well, I'm just check this out. So I was, I was following a astrophysicist or something like that. So they're explaining how, um, we keep things in orbit like the ISS because the ISS is fuck. It's massive, right? It's massive. And mm -hmm. there's a projection of time where we are going to have to decommission it because it's just getting to the point where it's so old and it's become so heavy from all the additions to it that it's, it's starting to lose itself in orbit. So the ISS travels at like 153,000 miles an hour. It does one rotation around the earth every 60 minutes. Something like that. Yeah. At some fucking crazy speed. Well, here's, here's what it is. If, if you, if you notice it follows the curvature of the earth on an opposite scale. So technically, technically because it is in orbit, but it's still low orbit enough to not be out in space, just with no gravity, the ISS and astronauts or whatever are technically falling. They're mm -hmm. constantly falling, but they're constantly falling at a specific rate and at the curvature of the earth that they'll just never hit the earth at a certain point because they're able to like readjust with thrusters and things like that. It's like all satellites will eventually fall to earth or whatever. So like apparently us getting to that position of low orbit is the hardest point of space travel, like sustaining ourselves to like speed to then finding orbit, matching something in orbit, docking with something in orbit, and then returning back to Earth without complications, apparently is the hardest point. Once we leave what would be gravity, apparently it's super simple. Because it's just, you, all you've done is just fired a straight line, and you're just letting it go. So you think Buzz Aldrin's the real deal, and you're willing no. to go? No, 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 no. I think he's Hollywood. I think he's 100% Hollywood. That's what I'm saying. Nobody wears fucking suits that flashy. Who who's holding the camera on the Upping moon plant. for him to get down? Didn't they say oh, was it, oh it was it was on the lunar it was on the lunar leg? Oh, it traveled all the way through space through a rocket, fucking landed on the moon that's never been there, and then the camera was perfectly positioned in a sense of there's no, there no question about him being able to step down the ladder. That's what I'm saying, dude. I don't believe it. I don't believe any of that. I, I will believe that we have been to the moon though. I also believe there's moon bases. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I believe that. Who are they run by? Probably Germany. Germany? Yeah. You don't think China? Mm, no, I don't think so. I think, well, maybe the original bases, I think, were put up by Germany. I think now China might have taken over them. I definitely don't think that it's a country that holds them. I don't know. It's probably fucking sponsored by Walmart or something. <laughs> <laughs> Walmart. <laughs> Ironic. If you take a W and you put it together, it makes the Illuminati. Uh, <laughs> uh, but then, then it comes back to flat earth. So here's the thing. I, flat sun. <laughs> I don't believe in flat earth, but there is that theory of the outer ring where like, if you look at like, have you ever seen how people, the flat earthers, the, bro, some of the stuff. Are you going to say Antarctica? No, not just Antarctica because the, the ice ring around it, right? Or whatever. But there's the whole idea that like there's something past the ice ring or like people from will look at like space and all these things and like be able to like, like if they do this thing on a map, it's like, how is all of this? And just this one focal point, it's a fish lens, da, 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 whole thing. It's, um, it's the idea that. This is what fucks me with flat earth. This is the thing that fucks me with flat earth. If they go, okay, you're going to, oh, you're going to take a plane from like Singapore to say like Texas or some shit like that. And if you look at a globe and you fucking fly a plane and it'll show you, okay, this is the distance you should fly. But it like, it takes you up to Alaska and then over to like fucking Canada and then down over whatever. And you're like, well, why the fuck would you take this? Like, crazy arbitrary like 
aren't you going with the way that the winds push across unless the earth? you lay a flat earth out and you see that it's actually the straight trajectory line from where that would be that that is the actual <laughs> simplest <laughs> Oh, we've gone too far. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. If we can believe in lizard people, I can believe in flat earth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's going to be weird. It's going to be weird when we're the only people that don't believe in flat earth. We're going to be the <laughs> anomaly. <laughs> You've already beaten gaming podcast, the last bastion of hope for humanity. <laughs> Which is out in the trailer in the fucking woods somewhere. CB radio just fucking doing yeah. this. <laughs> We're on a fucking homemade ham network. The government's going to shut us down. The FFA doesn't know that we have this fucking license. Some crazy AM channel you got to like yeah. rabbit ear into. Oh, <laughs> uh, what's that fucking guy that does the fucking, it's like the paranormal shit that plays on like AM radio from like. 11 p.m. to like 5 a.m. No idea. It's the only thing that like comes on when like you're driving to like Montana and those open desert highways. <laughs> the only channel you get is this guy. And it's like they're all calls from like the 80s and early 90s. <laughs> it's all just replays uh, of this. Of a, They're like an alien came and saw me. Well, why don't you tell me about your experience? And like he just lets them <laughs> fucking go nuts. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Oh. Probably out of Roswell or whatever. It's gold. <laughs> it's gold. And I don't even care. Like if you listen to it long enough, like over the years, yeah. like it'll be like, like, oh, I think I heard that a year ago. Like <laughs> it just repeats. It's just fucking going like a Walmart playlist. His family's just got it on loop. <laughs> yeah. God, just all it. Yeah. He's been dead for a long yeah. time. They're just breaking in the royalties. Oh my God. That's what we should do. Well, who's, was it Sean's idea? Was it Sean or Aaron's idea? I think it was Sean's idea for next spoopy season we actually go to a haunted house and like do our own phasmophobia night. Did you hear this idea? No, but it's genius. He's like, we buy night vision cameras. We get like shitty, like EMF detectors and stuff like that. And we go have like an actual phasmophobia night in a real haunted house by ourselves. You can rent out like in the Bay area that, it's like a naval ship, like the USS Hornet or something like that. You can rent it oh, out for like yeah. 600 bucks a night and they let you just fucking have free reign to ghost hunt. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, if that's all it is. is there, everybody has to have GoPros. GoPros. We do GoPros. We get actual like camcorders. We get like the voice the green boxes. dots. The fucking. Yeah, the whole nine yards. And we just go have that shit. We go have our own actual. And we do peyote. I mean, we can. Like or like one person has like aerosol LSD, but it doesn't. T we don't tell anybody. Just, oh, what the fuck! <laughs> just, just walking like, oh, why is it wet? Oh, just, oh. just, just is that a vape pen? Yeah, you don't want to hit that. Why? It's DMT. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah. That's where we start seeing some shit. <laughs> Just every once in a while, be like, so we're out here. Ron's like, ah! just scratching at the <laughs> hole. <Yeah>. Ah. <laughs> that sounds awful. <laughs> <laughs> Sean, why are your fingers bleeding, man? <laughs> I was writing a manifesto in my own blood. Just remember, like, mental institutions were shut down in the 80s. It's going to be real hard to come back from this. Yeah, they're all at the hospital I work with now. <laughs> oh, oh man. Geez. So. Big so. big plays then. I really want to do that. I think that, that 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 one idea sounded like a ton of fun. Yeah. Just one night, go getting spooked out. Gotta do something and not bring some shit home with us though. Have you seen have you seen this thing where Teslas, if you drive through a cemetery on a Tesla, they've been like showing like people and stuff. Their sonar, like yeah. how it, like, it, like identifies people. Yeah. And so it has people going back and forth yeah, across just the on the yeah. side of it. I think I need to go do one of those. Yeah, that's way cheaper than renting out. We just rent a Tesla for a night. Just drive it through the cemetery. <laughs> <Yeah>. oh, <fuck. laughs> just videotaping the console. <laughs> <laughs> it's content. That's what we do. We'll, we'll go through a cemetery to a haunted house and we'll just make it a two-part episode during spoopy month. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then the third part of that is at someone's funeral because obviously they died. <laughs> it's probably Sean. <laughs> <laughs> he's possessed you guys i feel fine he's possessed <laughs> why'd you bring a gun the silver bullets standing over his casket a blunderbuss with some like fucking silverware <laughs> standing over, stainless standing over his cough uh, cough and at the funeral people crying we just got a dead pull open we're paying people <laughs> <laughs> fucking opening up the casket right before it goes to the ground to drive a stake through the heart. Gotta make sure. <laughs> Just pouring Cochrane over the top of the casket. <laughs> oh, man. Christ almighty. I'm so glad we don't have Mr. Beast budget. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine? Small, small fame, but Mr. Beast budget. We'd be, we would have to find, what was it? Daily Motion is that the site that you? <laughs> it was kind of lawless for a while. You could upload anything on it. It's like the people walking through, like yeah, the people that were like walking through like suicide forests in Japan and shit like that. It was like all, all the like the videos were uploaded to. That's the only place I think we'd be able to do it. Rumble, land of the free. Oh man, that's a good point. I mean, if Andrew Tate can still fucking put his fucking nunchuck videos out on there, we could do whatever we want. I uh his videos have started popping up on my feed again. That's good. That's good. That's good. A little weird. <laughs> there yeah. was there was something about the time frame of him being like before of, he was trying to be like inspirational yeah, and shit like that. Cra- where he was just like, women are stupid guns. <laughs> <laughs> it was just him. <laughs> Boo guy. <laughs> yeah. And then it was I'm like him disappeared and then all the memes of like his Twitter where him just like laying with like stuffed pillows, like anime pillows and stuff like that. And then him back now, it's like, ah, it's kind of weird. Yeah. The pendulum swung too far. Yep. It leaned one, one way too far. <laughs> <sighs> all right, let's wrap this up. Yeah. If you've made it this far in the episode, I encourage you to share this with a friend. See if he also likes this terrible shit. Um, like, comment, subscribe. The hashtag. I'm putting hashtag conspiracy at the end of this. Check out our merch store. Oh! Yep, merch.etsy.com. Yeah. See if you can find yourself something nice. The link and is in the bio. we're going to be working on new designs here soon. Coming up for our 100th episode. July 26th. We didn't miss this one, so we're still on track. July January. January. One of the Jays. <laughs> One of the Jays. 26. Yeah, it's a J month. We'll have a lot more information coming out. But yeah, we're going to start doing new merch, new everything. It's going to be blast. June 26, you can actually um, find it already on our ep- on our channel. You might have to scroll down a bit, but it'll be there. Hopefully. <laughs> All right. <we're, laughs> let's get out of here. Bye. Bye.